Uh, hey everyone, uh, this is Mike speaking and I'm the one who is responsible for simple GTO trainer development. Uh, first of all, I need to say sorry for my poor English. To be honest, I did not practice it for a while. But I hope that video would be clear and we would cover a lot of frequently asked questions. To connect Peer Solver to Simple GTO Trainer, you need to complete several easy steps. First of all, go to Settings tab and specify path to Peer Solver engine. Your Peer Solver version should support API interactions. Currently, all paid versions of Peer Solver are supported, even the basic one. Please pay attention that executable Peer Viewer file is not Peer Solver engine itself. It is just a tool that communicates with Peer Solver engine. So we are going to specify one of these parameters and we need to click on Browse button, then find Peer Solver and select the engine. In our case it is Peer Solver Edge. So we click on Open and apply our settings. You can ask uh, reasonable questions. Why do we have uh, another two parameters in this section? So, peer preflop pass is required to specify the second uh, peer solver engine. In some older versions of peer solver, there are two engines, and that is why we have two parameters in this section. Timeout parameter is, require, is required uh, for defining the amount of seconds that simple GTO trainer waits for peer solver response. In some cases, for example, for some complex trees, this parameter could be increased. Uh, so, let me show you how to create your own game configurations. For that, you need to click on Custom Games tab and then on Add button. We've got two training modes and let's start with regular training. So, this training mode is very similar to a normal game, but the main difference uh, that you are playing until you made an error. So, here we've got a tooltip that indicates what is going wrong, and let's start uh, filling these fields. Let it be PO test, uh, then uh, game. Now it is just for hold them heads up. Position. Uh, this parameter could be changed during the training. Engine. In our case, it is Peer Solver Engine. Please pay attention that uh, this uh, uh, option appears only after settings configuration. Uh, small and big blind amounts. And the most important parameter is Solution Directory. We need to find uh, out where our CFR files are stored and, uh, and input uh, the path to this directory. In our case, we are going to use this directory with only one CFR file. And uh, this directory could contain uh, a several subdirectories, but if you are going to use this, uh, these subdirectories in your training, you need to click on this parameter. So, uh, let's find this, uh, this folder. Okay, and click on select. So now everything is fine and we can save our first game configuration. Uh, by selecting the row uh, and clicking on play button, we could start our training. And it looks like everything is fine and we can train our skills. Before we continue with creating a custom drill game configuration, let's uh, have a careful look at Peer Solver. So, what we have here? We have here a flop CFR file and we have uh, the tree. And what is also important here is uh, this small label. This label indicates 
the uh, path to our required node. So, for example, we started at root, then we uh, are going to make a bet. Okay, you can see B and uh, this number. So, uh, then let it be call. After the call, we can specify uh, the turn. Let it be three diamonds. And then let it be uh, let it be this value. So we have this complex pass and this pass is required uh, in a simple GTO trainer to find out this node in this flop file. After we considered what uh, node is required we can create a drill game configuration. So click on add button then drill game then uh, specify name of the game okay game uh, engine is pure solder big blind is 2 and uh, solution directory is uh, the same as in the previous example so in our case we have only one CVR file, but uh, it could be a hundreds or thousands of files, and uh, the mechanism is the same. So click on next, and here we've got the following interface. So this is uh, the path to the node, and uh, the row we have reviewed is called node ID. So we have this one. So uh, this is the list of flop files in the directory and uh, it is a tree. So let's click on check button and wait for a while. You can see that uh, this notation is, uh, this U UPI notation is parsed by our software and we are going to uh, train this node with uh, five actions so and this row is green it means that uh, this flop file contains this node okay so as I have already mentioned it could be more flop files but f all of uh, specified flop files would be checked for one node ID. Okay, let's click on save and test it. So you can see that we have uh, this uh, set of actions and we need to uh, select the right frequencies for possible actions so in this case let it be call there are a lot of questions about code GTO pack and its contents so users would like to know how to view the details of the pack and how to examine the trees used for this pack development so the easiest way to do that is to open your pack description in the application by clicking on details button so you can see that in this uh, window there is a, a description of the pack and also it is possible to download unresolved trees right now in this version uh, it is not available from the pack from the application itself so you can open uh, web browser and go to this link and then download unresolved trees. One of the most critical and important issues right now is licensing. So some users 
are experiencing problems with their activations due to the machine key modification. So why does the machine key is modified? Usually it happens when you have uh, uh, upgrade your personal computer, added new hardware or have uh, uh, critical software updates. But uh, anyway, in most cases uh, the system is stable and what should you do if you will face uh, this problem? So you need to uh, copy this machine key and send it to our support team and we would fix your activation. Uh, we are sorry for that and we are working on a uh, hot fix of this issue. All activations in Simple GTR Trainer are based on key system. That means that uh, on the first step you need to receive your key, then you need to activate your key. It is actual uh, as for pro version and for packs. For example, if you have purchased your version, you need to click on plus button and enter your license key from your email. So the same situation is w with the uh, packs. So you also click on and add key and enter your key for your pack. So how to activate your trial version? You need to click on request trial button. So here we click on yes. Then we would receive uh, your trial code. It could be copied to the clipboard. And then click on plus button, input your uh, code from clipboard and apply. So wait a couple of seconds. And your activation is successful. So you can see the trial is active and now you can use custom games for one week.